Hello world, my name is Ihor and today I'd like to make a little techno patch without the drum machine and using only this set of modules here. Basimila Ceteritas Alter is our drums, Money Ceteritas as the baseline, sequence them with Pamela's new workout and Mimetic Digitalis for some CV modulation, mix up to mix those into the filter and from the filter into the emitter verso which is flashed into Ruina verso and it's gonna be our master distortion effect. Let's do it. And I think it's gonna be rather on the weird territory, but whatever. So I have already patched some basics here. So the output from Basimilus goes into the mix up number one, and then output from Manis goes into the second uh, track here, and then summarized mix goes into the filter and from filter into the emitter verso, and from here into the output and gets recorded into the Ableton Live. And uh, I'd like to start with drums and I'd like to have the kick drum and offbeat hi-hat both coming from Basimila Ceteritas Alter. It's a little bit kind of tricky, but also fun. So right now I have this kick drum, which sounds kind of good. But to go into the hi-hat territory on Basimilus, we have to change some parameters over here. For example, attack needs to go fully left, fold fully right, then the mode we have to switch into the metal territory and then the range into the treble and we have our hi-hat. Let's go back into the kick drum. And basically all these parameters we have to change with CV voltage instead. So I'm gonna go and patch the first output of Pamela's new workout into Basimilus and run the clock. So we have our kick drum going. And Pamela's new workout by default triggers or sends gates into the outputs without any modifier and it's gonna be one per bit. So basically one trigger on one bit and that's what we have achieved right now. But to achieve the off bit situation, we need to trigger it a little bit more often. And I'm gonna go into output one and multiply the clock by two, which is gonna create this. But now we also have to send somehow CV voltage into the Basimilus Ceteritas Alter to switch these four parameters into their different territories to achieve the hi-hat, but only on the off bit. And if we look at the number two here on the output number two here, this one it is triggering every bit, which is exactly what we need, but we also need to shift it a little bit so that it triggers not on the bit, but on the off bit of every bit. And we can easily achieve that by going into the settings of Pamela's output number two and set the phase into 50% or even into 51. 51 is a little bit better. I found it a little bit better because if you use 50%, sometimes it kind of overlaps and doesn't have time to, you know, to switch back into the kick drum and then kick drum loses the transients. But anyways, so we switched the phase. That means that the triggers or the gates are gonna be a little bit kind of delayed and they're gonna fit into the offbeat perfectly. And we're gonna grab this output and patch it into, yeah, into the range. So we achieved this basically on every offbeat, like if I stop now and start again, we switch our range into the treble. And the next thing which we have to do is uh, to switch the mode into the metal. It's uh, gonna be quite similar to what we had here. I'm gonna go into the output three, also move the phase a little bit into, into the 51 as well. But right now we're gonna achieve a little bit different result. Listen to that. So it switches, but not into the desired mode. And this is happening because the Pamela's new workout sends voltage uh, amount of five volts and it's actually switching into the metal and then into the skin back. So basically we are sending too much of voltage and this we can fix with going into the level and decreasing level until the moment we hear the right thing. So it's there. So we leave it as is. That already resembles a hi-hat, but we also need to add some noise. And that's what we can achieve by um, working with the attack. Because uh, if you go into the left on the attack on the Simulus, it's gonna introduce the noise. 
but the problem here is that we don't need noise on the kick drum. But Pamela's new workout sends only positive voltage. That means that we cannot go into the negative territory and switch on the offbeat the attack back to zero. But we're gonna do the opposite, so we're gonna invert that. By default, we're gonna go into attack into zero, and then on beat, we're gonna bring attack into like 50%, which is gonna remove all the noise. So let me show you real quick. We're gonna go into the attack over here, and then into the output number four. We do not change modifier because we need this on every bit. And then we change the level into, into the 50%. We can start like with 48 and audition. So basically, more level we introduce, less transients we hear from kick drum. And now if we go into less than 50, we hear noise in the kick drum as well, which we don't need. So on 50, it's fine. Nice. And the next thing will be fault. And with fault, it's gonna be quite simple. Maybe we can just reuse the same output that changes the the range and just it this one is gonna go into fold as well let's listen nice but now i think the decay for the hi-hat is quite it's kind of too long and i would like to make it shorter so if i go and make all the decay shorter it's gonna also influence the kick drum I like it as it is right now, but I need to bring the decay of the kick drum back. And we can do that easily without even uh, programming too much. So I'm gonna go into output number five and put it into the decay. And output number five, again, is the default one and it sends the gate on every bit. And that's gonna increase our decay into 100% on every bit. And it's gonna sound like that. But at the moment, we have uh, quite a long decay for our kick drum because we send again too much of level into output number five. So we can go into output number five, find level and sort of decrease it somewhere around, I don't know, maybe 30% or something like that. So that it just goes kind of over here and back. Yeah, I think 30 is gonna be fine. Yeah, it's perfect. Nice, and that's how we have our kick drum and the hi-hat. And the next thing to patch would be our money Ceteritas. And here I would like to create a little sequence. I'm gonna grab like output number six and patch it into the trig of money Ceteritas. For a moment, I'm gonna switch off the drums. So the first output, and let's listen to our bass line. Yeah, like this is fine. Yes. But now I'm gonna go into the output six and make modifier 1.3, which is gonna create some kind of polymetric situation. And then if we go inside, I'd like to use also Euclidean rhythm generator. So it's gonna be four steps in total, but only three tricks playing. And we achieve this. Which is repetitive and kind of good. But now I'm gonna also patch output number seven into the mimetic digitalis, like the X axis. And we're gonna go into the output number seven and multiply clock by four, which is gonna create 16th notes. And we're gonna change the pitch of minus iteritas from output number one. And I'm gonna go into output number one and load zero shred is gonna create like random CV values on every step, but in the range of like from one to two volts or to one volts, not like to five volts, because that's gonna create too much of a pitch difference. But yeah, let's listen to our baseline. And together with drums. can also utilize maybe one of the outputs to mod modulate the saw. Again, we can go crazy here, but the main idea is that. And right now let's introduce some distortion.
slipping a little bit, but it's fine. play with different parameters on distortion, on monies and basimilus and have a lot of fun. For example, if we go into the attack, we kind of remove all the noise from basimilus. Kind of drops energy a little bit and then we go back. We can also control decay or just remove decay modulation from here to create like a short drop, you know, or like breakdown rather. Open up filter on Manis. Modulate saw to go crazy. Yo, this is techno. ability to mute tracks on the Pamela's new workout. Let's mute the third one. Nice. Or the fourth one. Fifth. That removes the decay. that's pretty much it for today's video and I hope you enjoyed watching it. For me this setup is quite interesting and quite inspiring, maybe not the best polished techno that I've ever made, but indeed it sounds good to me and I, I really really like how it slaps actually. And if you want to support my work and this channel, you probably know the drill with algorithm and likes, comments, bell button and subscribe. I really appreciate all of that. And if you're interested to check another video where I go deep into the Ruina Verso, you can check this one. And if you're interested to check how I broke the Immutor Verso clock to achieve some rhythmic results from it, you can check this one. And until the next time, have fun.